All right, so in the last video, I showed you how to create a phone layout in Figma and import an image of a Spotify screenshot and then add some album art. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to add the text here, 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 and here. And then in the third video, I'm gonna show you how to create some of these icons. All right, so to create text, you can click on the T up here or you can press T on the keyboard. And what I wanna do is I'm just gonna drag over top of this and I'm just going to type the same word so that I can get the style and like the boldness and the color and the spacing and all that correct. Now I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna be using the exact same font. It's gonna be similar, but not exact. So I just typed it, but obviously you can't see it. So I'm gonna highlight this, change that to white. And then instead of regular, I want it to be bold. Now you notice it's not quite as long. So I need to up the font size as well, which is this 12 right here. So I'm gonna try 14 and it looks like it's just slightly, slightly bigger. And the way I'm moving this around is with the arrow keys on my keyboard. So I'm gonna change that to 13 and see what happens. That's almost exactly right. So I'm gonna call that good. And I'm going to drag this over and notice how it doesn't move up and down. I'm holding the shift key to do that. And I want this perfectly centered and I can tell that I'm doing that because there's that red line appearing. So I'm gonna let go, there it is. So this is the album title. This one is not called Inner Song, it's just self-titled Kelly Lee Owens. Okay, so a couple things happen here. One, it's left aligned and I want it to be center. And then secondly, it stacked the words here. So I need to do a couple things. First, I need to stretch the edges of this text box to match the album cover. Uh, but right now it's not letting me do that because I'm in text edit mode. So I just have to click off of it and click back on. And then the left edge here, I'm just gonna drag over and then drag the right edge over. And then now to center it, I'm gonna go down here and you'll see there's these different alignment tools. So I'm gonna click the center one and there it is, it's centered. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do as a designer to be lazy is just to copy things. Um, so instead of creating a whole new text thing here and here, I'm actually just gonna copy this down here. So one easy, quick way to copy stuff in most design programs is to hold the Alt or Option key. And you notice my arrow, it gets a second white arrow behind it. That means it's ready to duplicate. So I'm gonna drag straight down, right about to there, where flow is. And so now I'm going to double click so it's highlighted, I'm gonna call this Anxi. This is a, one of the song titles on this album. And it needs to be much bigger to match this and it also needs to be left aligned. So I'm gonna highlight that, choose left align, and then instead of 13, I'm gonna change that to 16. That's still not big enough, so let's try 18. Maybe a little bit bigger, so 20. <laughs> 22 looks like that's about right. Okay, so there it is, that matches. And then we need to copy it one more time for the artist name. Okay, so I'm gonna click off. And then I'm going to hold option and drag down. So this one's not as big. It's a slightly darker shade of gray and it's, uh, it's a smaller font size. So I'm gonna double click, 
type Kelly Lee Owens, highlight it, and instead of bold, I'm going to change it to regular. And then for the font size, I'm going to change that to 18. Looks like it needs to be smaller, so how about 14? That looks about right. And to get the font, or to get the color exactly right, I'm going to, under fill, click that little square, click the eyedropper, and then I'm going to click right on that text to get the exact shade of gray. And there you go. Okay, so now I've got the time marker here and then the remaining time over here. So I'm going to hold Option, drag down. And it looks like this is even smaller. So I'm going to make this size 12. Double click. Change it to 002. Maybe even a little smaller. So let's make it 10. That looks about right. Okay. Drag down a little bit. Now we want one to be on the right side too. So just to make space for that, I'm going to drag this halfway and then I'm going to hold option and drag this again so it aligns with that right edge. Double click it, make it right aligned, and then change this to negative 402. Okay, and there you have it. So it's coming right along. Next, we just need to add the icons and controls. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.